great. Um, I'm out hiking with a friend and I wanted to show you something. And it's this beautiful, incredible ponderosa tree that has this deep scar, fire scar on it. And God, what a tree. It's just beautiful. But you know, this tree lives not as an independent being. It lives through symbiotic relationship with untold numbers of bacteria and fungi in the soil that the fungi connect it to the trees around it and extend its own root system and allow it to take up nutrients from the soil around. And it's in communication with all the other trees in the neighborhood, both through the fungal network and through the release of chemical signatures in the air. And I'm really struck by this wound here. And on our hike, it's tied into the, what we found on our hike, which is this plethora of trash left in the National Forest. And the image I want to leave you with here is that this wound on this tree and these, this trash are very related. Because we tend to see our own sense of an experience of separation in the world as our personal wounding. And in truth, it's a collective wound. It's a collective wound of Western culture to see ourselves as independent beings. And it's that experience and sense of separation in life that leaves us with the wound and the pain that allows people to treat nature that is our source of nutrition and life-giving force in the world. And tied into all of this then is what's happening in our political world today. Because the powers that be in the Oval Office and in Congress at the moment have no sense of this sacred relationship with the earth. And it's only the absence of that that would allow the moving through and the pushing forward of the, of the, of the Dakota North Access Pipeline and those kinds of projects, irregardless of our impact on the natural world. It is a suicidal pact among people who are deeply wounded and do not know this relationship of their own being. And the proper response in part is compassion because we all carry this wound. And with that too is the standing up and naming the wound and claiming our birthright of belonging in innate worthiness and not trying to fix that wound through the exercise of and misuse of power in the world over others, namely bullying in part. This is Larry Glover. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go out into nature and remember your belonging and connection to the tree of life. Thank you.